Alright, so I was going over um, these feature boxes. So um, the last thing we'd gone over was in the theme options under the home page tab you could adjust the column count. I'm going to go ahead and put that back to 3. Alright, so our home page is starting to get a lot of content, a lot of options going on. So the last thing to go over is um, that bottom area of the live preview. Let me open that up for you which is these portfolio posts and you can either pull in portfolio posts or blog posts so let's go ahead and go under our widgets these are pulled in via widgets and you'll notice there's a home page widgets area and then there's two widgets that are called progression home and those are the two widgets that you would use if you wanted to pull in posts so I would show you the, the portfolio post one um, goes up here and then you can choose what category it pulls from so for example if you had some portfolio posts let's call this one like home page the slug is right here and so you would type in that right there and then it would pull in four posts in four columns from that category so we don't have any set up right now but that's how you would use that that's how our home page is set up but I can show you the same thing for blog posts because we have a couple of those set up. So it's the same options. So we can have number of columns, number of posts, and we can have how many, uh, which category you want to pull from. We only have one to choose from, but you should, you would probably have a couple. So we can call this latest blog posts, and we can view our homepage, and you can see how it's pulled in, just like those portfolio posts. Um, like so on your home page and then you could change the column count really easily if you wanted a three instead of four etc it's super easy to add those widgets and they'll display in that order so that's how you can add different types of content onto your home page um, and that's how you create your home page you have a whole lot of options you can play around with them and you could uh you know, use all these different widgets, homepage boxes, content area, or just one of them or none of them. Um, it's really up to you. You have the option there for you.